What's up everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Indie Beginning. For today's episode, I will be taking a quick look at the public alpha for 0010's new game, The Westport Independent. As with most games on my channel, keep in mind that this is an early alpha version and it hasn't even got a proper ending yet, so expect development to continue over time. The Westport Independent is a minimalistic simulation of what it would be like to be the editor of a small, independent newspaper in a city torn apart by the impressive government on one side and a rising group of rebels on the other. Players are presented with a choice. Do you want to publish stories that put the government in a positive light, earning you the trust and support of the loyalists, or do you expose the financial and social corruption in the system, strengthening the position of the rebels and possibly having your newspaper shut down? It's a fine line you're walking, mostly because there's only a limited amount of time before your newspaper will be completely in the hands of the government, completely eliminating any possibility of criticism. Now, in the current alpha, this happens after six weeks, and if you haven't managed to inform the public of the ongoing corruption in the government by then, your company will simply cease to be. Fortunately, you can influence public opinion in subtle or not so subtle ways. Each story you choose to run will have different headlines to choose from, and certain information can be omitted for the sake of covering up or simply twisting the truth. For example, one story covers the construction of a statue for the president. You can choose to headline the article with a glorious announcement or a critical note questioning if the money is well spent. You can choose to inform the public strictly of the facts, or you can reveal that the construction is so expensive it takes money out of the city's healthcare budget. Obviously, one version will favor the government, and the other will undermine it, giving credit to the rebels. Distribution is also important. If you run a newspaper full of stories about celebrities and gossip, the government probably won't pay much attention to the company, and you'll sell a lot of copies in districts where interest for such things is high. You won't influence what the people think of the government as much, but in turn, the government won't care about you too much, making it a relatively safe course to follow. Even though the current version of the game is far from done, I think 0010 is onto something. The obvious similarities with Papers, Please may be a coincidence, but it certainly adds to the same grim atmosphere that made Lucas Pope's game so popular. Add to that the superb choice of music, a mix of slow jazz and walking bass lines, and you feel like you're starring in your own film noir version of a communist country ready to collapse into civil war, all because of one silly newspaper. An early alpha version of the Westport Independent is available on the developer's website for free. Just follow the link in the description and tell me what you think of it. That is all for this episode of Indie Beginning. Stay tuned for more episodes every week. If you happen to like indie games as much as I do, make sure to subscribe to the channel for weekly content, or leave me a suggestion below if you want me to cover a particular game. Thank you so much for watching, I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.